Hi, good afternoon, guys. This is Ignacio, and I have here Veronica with me today. Um, today's topic, just very casual and formal. We want to take the opportunity to allow you guys to get to know us a little bit and about our company. Uh, we've, we've done now uh, Facebook Live for a few weeks now. We've done several videos, as you've seen. And again, we just really wanted to just be ourselves. So it's not really scripted. Tell you a little bit about how we formed North Star and what we, why we formed North Star, and also want to talk about why we called it North Star. We've gotten that question too, and tell you a little bit about our, about our teams and and what we have to offer and a little bit about us. So, kind of giving you a chance to get personal here. So, um, uh, it is live. So, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, we'll be more than glad to answer those. And so, let's get started. So. Um, Veronica, hi. Hi. <laughs> um, as you guys may or may not know, so we're a husband and wife uh, business, uh, you know, work partner, so life partner, and uh, one of, uh, we formed North Star, was it 2014? Yes. Okay. We formed North Star Senior Advisors back in 2014. Uh, I had a background working in assisted living facilities. Uh, prior to working with assisted living, I had no experience. I was given an opportunity to work with a startup assisted living facility in East Orlando. And I became passionate in working with the facility itself, especially those who are living with Alzheimer's and dementia. It became my passion to help uh, the residents um, and their families. So the reason why I became so passionate, I think, is because I was, um, I grew up with my grandparents a lot. They're my, they, well, they've since passed some of them and they were my absolute role models. And um, when I had the opportunity to work with the families, uh, it was during a time when I lost my own grandparents. And I think it was just being able to understand what the families were going through and be, be compassionate and help them and guide them. So when we, you know, we came across the idea of starting a placement company, Veronica was in senior living, as she mentioned, and um, uh, we, we just really figured it would be, uh, it would just make sense for us to represent the families and the seniors throughout this process. Um, you know, back, you know, six years ago now, um, it seems like a lot of that was missing. You know, we, we, we got a lot of feedback as we were kind of fishing around in terms of, um, how we could do better uh, in placement. That was one of the biggest things, right? So we really wanted to focus on doing that and um, and really represent, as I mentioned, the seniors and the families throughout this entire process. Um, why we call that North Star? Uh, some folks have asked that. So as I was thinking and, and talking to Veronica about a name for the company, um, we really, you know, my, my thought process was what we would be doing. So our mission would be to provide a guided path to senior living. So as I thought about that image, uh, what came to mind for me was the Northern Star. So, you know, if you research the Northern Star, its meaning has multiple meanings. Uh, one of them is, you know, a lot of the sailors back in the days used the Northern Star to guide them in the seas. Uh, and then the Christianity meaning as well. Um, so, you know, we, the Northern Star came to, not, to mind. So uh, North Star Senior Advisor was born and its name came from that. And again, it, it was really just to focus on our mission, which is to really provide that guided path for seniors and families during a time that is usually very confusing, overwhelming, so. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, when I worked in senior living, um, I, like I said, I loved working with the families and the communities that I worked for, but I realized that I, because I had worked with other uh, senior placement providers, there was still a lack there, and um, that had a lot to do with communication. And so prior to Ignacio and I do, opening our own placement company, we researched, we looked at our competition, we looked at um, who we would help the most, such as social workers and guardians and other assisted living facilities and nurses and so on, and we reached out to them to ask them how we could benefit them as partners as well, not only the families, and we got that feedback. Um, going back to the name North Star, um, if you look at our logo, it's the N is a house, and then there's a little star. So um, when I created that, I wanted the families to know that uh, that it's a home away from home, and we're going to guide them to the appropriate home because that's our mission. 
Yeah, so uh, the other thing we want to talk about today was our team. So uh, just like any company, any organization, um, actually we're more like a family. Obviously we're married and then we have our very uh, tight-knit team that does a great job. So we figured we talk about us and our team as well. Um, so Brian, do you want to start with you? Yeah, so, um, well, I have, like I said, I've been in the industry since 2000, I can't even remember, but I started in assisted living. I was the sales and marketing director for two different assisted living communities, and I became passionate in working with the seniors. Uh, earned my certified dementia practitioner, and then I also became a trainer, so I can train those to earn their own certified dementia, dementia practitioner uh, certification. Um, and I, um, on, I serve on different boards in the healthcare community and used my skills from my previous healthcare life, such as in software, um, to kind of navigate and learn, uh, or implement, I should say, um, our logos and our, uh, emails and everything you can dream of in terms of CRM implementation and so on. Yes. And me, uh, I'm Ignacio. Uh, my background, really quick, I was an Army guy. I was in the service for eight years. Uh, I was in the infantry, and then I switched jobs in the military. I got my nursing in the Army. I was an Army nurse. Um, so let's see, this was back in 2000. I became a nurse in the military. I uh, served, uh, as I mentioned, eight years, three years as a nurse. Worked at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. I uh, had the privilege of caring for our troops after 9-11 at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. That was a great privilege. Um, transition into the civilian world as a nurse, uh, orthopedic nurse, uh, and then I made a transition in healthcare sales a while ago and became a healthcare executive for different companies. And uh, you know, going back to about 2014, um, as we made the decision to really spend time with North Star and get North Star off the ground, I transitioned and really focused on on, on you know, investing my time and effort in something that we felt more passionate about. So I think your experience too. Um, I found that with senior placement, being clinical, um, because we both have business degrees, but also the clinical aspect of it. It's not just placement for us. It's a long-term commitment. You don't want to have to move your loved one multiple times. We want to make that uh, a one-stop place for your loved one because it is their home away from home and it is emotional. So I think the clinical background and us having that certified dementia practitioner, everyone on our team, that was important to us as well for consultations to understand the license types to be able to um, give the facilities the proper documentation from the physicians and so on. Yeah, I agree completely. It's come in handy many a times where um, you know, we've had prior to COVID-19, we've had to go in and do assessments in person. Now we're doing them virtually with skilled nursing facilities and over the phone with families. So that definitely plays a big role in doing what we call proper placement, which is something we take great pride in doing, of course. Um, let's see, we also have uh, Savannah in our team. Um, Savannah, real quick, couple things about her. She's uh, She got her CNA in 2012, I believe. Uh, graduated UCF in 2016 with a um, bachelor's in marketing. Uh, she's been with us um, uh, over a year this time. She left us briefly and came back. Uh, a total about three years, I would say. Yeah, three years. She's got about six years experience in the healthcare background. Uh, she uh, does a great job. She's phenomenal for us and for our families. We get great compliments from seniors. Very compassionate. Very compassionate and, you know, so her, her role is marketing director, but uh, she's also senior living advisor uh, many a time. So that's one thing about a small business is that we, we all wear multiple hats, right? So, you know, it's not, I just do one thing and she just does one thing. So we all get a chance to really get involved in different aspects of the business uh, as we help families. Um, the other individual that we have in our team is Patricia. She's a rock star. She's a rock star, very <laughs> compassionate, extremely compassionate, goes above and beyond for her clients and families. She's got a phenomenal reputation in the community. Uh, Over 20 years healthcare experience. Yep. Bilingual, I mean. Yes. Bilingual, uh, home health, I think, mostly experience in healthcare. What else does she uh, have? She's had um, home health, DME, DME I think. yeah. So yeah. She, she gets the in entire um, transitional process when it comes to relocating a, a elderly person into assisted living. She gets the entire transitional process. 
Yeah, she's been with, with us now for about over two years. Uh, and again, great compliments. Uh, families love her, love working with her. Our referral sources love working with us. Well, she makes it extremely easy to do a proper placement for them. Uh, so we're very proud to have her as well on our team. So, you know, just again, as I mentioned earlier, just like any other company, it, it's not just the name, it's just, it's not just the service, it's the folks that execute the service, uh, which is our team, our family. So we wanted to take the time to do this today and um, let you guys know a little bit about us, a little personal video. Um, as you work with us, trust us to work with, with your families, uh, your seniors. Um, you know, I think it's important for you to know a little bit about us as well. So. Um, I think that's, uh, that was one of the reasons why we were approached by different franchise um, placement companies and we opted to do our own for several reasons of uh, the background that we have, the experience that we have, the team that we have. Um, and we just felt because we are core trained as well and that's a training that you must have in order to operate an assisted living facility. So we wanted to understand who's appropriate, the different license types. Um, we didn't want to just be your average placement provider. We didn't want to be a franchise because to us, it's not just a business. To us, it's your loved one's life and it's their new home away from home. And we want to be a part of that for you and for them. Yeah, I agree completely. We, uh, you know, we take great pride in what we do. Uh, it is, uh, uh, we take very, uh, we do a lot of attention to detail as, as you can imagine. Um, uh, Compassion is key. I mean, we many a times we hear some stories, and as we help families, and it's 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 very emotionally draining, uh, both sides, right? We, you know, we step in. Uh, many a times we're able to come in and, and really help out. And sometimes, honestly, if we're not able to fully assist in a transition, at least we're able to guide them to resources that can really help them in their community, uh, which is also vital. So we don't just walk away um, and say good luck. Uh, we'll at least educate, give information, um, and if we can assist, great. And as I said, if we can't, at least that family or senior can walk away with some really good information and resources for them to look into in the community. So, you know, again, very important for that to happen as well. Um, so that's us, folks. Um, thank you for uh, taking the time and watching us. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, our phone number at the office is 407-796-1582. Our website, www.northstarsa.com. Yeah, definitely look at our website. We made some changes and um, we have a video library now on our main page. So a lot of good information there. Yeah, we take great pride, as I mentioned, to really just provide education, uh, resources. So that's now available on our homepage. So you'll see a library there as well. So thank you for your time, folks. Have an excellent day. It was nice chatting with you guys. We'll see you next week. Uh, every Wednesday, we'll do a quick Facebook Live, various topics. So uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.